A lot many people I know have taken to trading in the last few months. I thought of sharing some suggestions for those who are new to trading or have been trading for some time but are still struggling with it. For the purpose of this video, I will restrict myself to five suggestions. These are all things that I've learned the hard way by making mistakes in my early years of trading, now over 10 years ago. And I hope they will ease your learning curve a bit. So let's begin. Here's the first one. Trading is not easy. Make no mistake about it. Over 95% of traders fail. And there's a good chance you might too. Period. Why is it so important that this be the first piece of advice? Because a lot of people take trading to be easy money. It is anything but. The markets are going to take their tuition fees. You will lose money. It is extremely important to get your ex expectations right or else you will end up making reckless moves. So start trading only with money you can completely afford to lose. Yes, completely. Do not trade with money that you need to pay next month's bills with. Scared money just never wins. So let's move on to the next edition. There is no holy grail of trading. When I first started trading, I spent a lot of time and energy trying to find a system that would increase my win rate. A system that would help me avoid all losses. Well, let me save you your time and energy. Such a system does not exist. It just doesn't. You can take my word for it. It turns out, and you will soon realize on your own too, that losses are an essential part of the game. You just cannot avoid them. But there's a good news. And the good news is that you can be a successful trader even with a 40-50% win rate. It turns out with proper risk management, that's more than enough. That's all you need. But then, what to do with the losses? That brings us to our next suggestion. Manage the risk, not the reward. As a trader, your number one job is to manage the risk. It is totally up to the market which way the stock will go up or down. But it is up to you and only you to manage the risk. And how do you do that? Well, now we have come to the hardest part of the trading. Don't trade without a stop loss. And most importantly, stick, stick to it. Stick to your stop loss. Think of stop losses in this way. Stop losses help you stay in the game. They help you enter the next trade. In a sense, you might even say that stop losses, these little losses, are responsible for the big gains. In a nutshell, do remember that amateurs enter a trade based on the potential profits that they expect to learn. But professionals enter a trade based on potential losses, the losses that they might have to take. On to the next suggestion. Averaging down is the easiest way to blow up your trading account. Never ever average down. Hope is just not a strategy. The thing is that when, it's, when it works, averaging down makes you feel really smart, like the smartest guy in the room. You add it up when the stock was down and hey, you came out on top. But unless it is a definite part of your position sizing strategy, Never ever average down. It is the easiest way to blow up your entire trading account and get you out of the game for good. Because its consequences could be that severe, I decided to include this in the list of my top five suggestions. On to the last suggestion. The best trading books are found in the psychology section of the library. It turns out that the biggest obstacle to your trading success is not the markets. 
or the operators or the algorithms or whatever you would like to blame out there. But it's you. It was always you. And it will always be you. Though we spend most of our time initially on technical analysis, but I would say that identifying good setups is just, it accounts for just 10% of your trading success. 90% is your own mental makeup. And that's the most important and the most difficult part that you will have to get right if you want to be successful at trading. Your own mental makeup. To sum it up, trading is definitely one of the most challenging but also one of the most fulfilling ways to make money. Why? Because it is all on you. It is your money. It is your responsibility. You got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, no one to blame. It's all you. And I hope these suggestions and this video will help you just a little bit when it comes to making you a better trader. Take care and good luck.